Welcome to another Nature's Good Guys video. We sell beneficial insects and today we're doing some houseplant care. Pesky little fungus gnats on my houseplants. If you know, you know, these guys are so annoying. You can see them kind of flying around there. So we're gonna be using a combination of these gnat sticks traps and also Nature's Good Guys SF nematodes. These ones are particularly good for fungus gnats. So just setting up the traps here, they're super easy. I'll show you what you get. You get the little wooden stakes and then it's just a sticky trap. So they're perforated. Go ahead and break it apart. And pro tip here, you guys, only remove one side of the paper backing to start. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove one side and then place the stake high enough up that it has good stability. Uh, but it doesn't have to be you know right in the middle and so you'll see i'm pinching it with the other side and that's why you still need the paper to be on so i can easily apply it to the soil since i can pinch both sides without my fingers getting covered in glue and now that it's in place then i'm going to go ahead and remove the other side so i'm just going to go ahead and do that with the other plants right here super easy literally took two seconds and while I'm doing that, I did just want to explain a bit about beneficial nematodes. These guys target soil pests. So that's why we need to use the traps in order to catch the adults um, because the nematodes are going to go after any life stage that's in the soil. So, you know, it's eggs, it's larvae, that kind of stuff. But for the adults, we still need to do something about those, right? So that's why we're using the traps. And the idea is once we can introduce enough nematodes, will basically be breaking that pest life cycle and hopefully um, stopping it you know, at the source and then we won't have to be trapping the adults anymore. So just wanted to explain that for everyone if you've never used nematodes before. And also wanted to note, make sure you guys read the instructions on the package for the traps. There is a good tip about if you happen to get glue on your fingers and how to get it off. So always read your instructions. And same thing goes for your insects. Always read the instructions that come with your insects. In this case, our nematodes. There is amazing information on there that's super helpful. I mean, this thing is pretty long, look at this. So you've got your pest guide, you've got release rates, different release methods. So uh, storage, which is super important. So make sure you guys check that out, okay? I've got my watering can here for my nematode application. That's all you need is some water. And the amount of water you mix them in, guys, is really not critical. So don't be overwhelmed by the instructions. Um, this is the smallest size. And for these three little pots, honestly, it's probably overkill. You could use half the package and then keep the nematodes in your fridge up to 30 days and come back and do another application, which is always recommended for any insect, you guys, you need to be doing multiple applications in order to outnumber the pest. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using the whole packet. Since we're not using a pesticide, you know, this is all natural. Of course, it's safe to be in your home, safe for you and your pets, your kids. So once I get this mixed up, I'm gonna take it back to the sink to water and I'll give you guys an update. Look at these traps they're totally doing their jobs i'm really happy with this so i'm going to continue to change them out and continue to do my periodic nematode release to reduce my pest population and make sure you guys check out our catalog as well there's a bunch of other stuff that can be used again indoors outdoors it's all really great so i hope this was helpful for you thank you so much for watching and send this to someone that has fungus gnats